Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. We are starting a new series, and I'm excited about this one. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. We are going to become a cattle baron, and we're going to start with just about nothing. It's a nice challenge. And we're on a nice map, too. This is the New Lands map, so pretty bare. We're going to have to create a lot of our farm, a lot of our cattle area. So, when I say we're not starting with much, we're essentially starting with $15,000 in the bank and this small plot of land. We have a small shed and a small John Deere tractor, about a hundred horsepower. And as far as fields go, we have this one grass field. It's a two acre field. And from this meager start, my goal is to amass a thousand head of cattle and make a million dollars. Once we get there, we may decide to just see how far we can go. So if we're gonna get there, we're gonna need a lot more equipment and we're gonna have to be extremely frugal with our money. And we're gonna need to stretch that $15,000 quite a ways. So, I'll meet you at the dealership. Let's see what we can put together. All right, we are here at the dealership. Let's go shopping. So given our limited budget, I think the best business approach is to make hay bales and sell them. So in doing that, let's first look at balers, see what we can find. So here is, I believe, a Russian baler that we can use. Only $5,000. That seems to be the cheapest solution, although it is a third of our budget. I think I'll just take it as it is. Can we change the colors for free? Yeah, we can. I like that arrangement. We'll buy that. Okay. Next on our shopping list is a bale trailer. So this is going to be a low cost choice. It's only $1,500. Um, can we change the color for free? Yeah, we can. We'll do that. We'll buy that. So we're down to $8,500. We still need to buy a mower, a wind rower, a tether, and a bail spike. Let's see what we can do with that remaining money. So a big limitation for mowers is the horsepower. We have only 100 horsepower. And we don't have a front three-point attachment. So whatever we select, it's going to have to be, it's going to have to hook up to the rear. So this is not the most elegant solution, but it fits our budget, 1200 bucks. 
Let's go for that. Let's change the color and make it a little more exciting. Okay, 1200 bucks. So for Wind Rower and Tether, I do have an idea of what would work for us. And that is this Rostle Mash Tether. $1,300. And it's cousin Wind Rower for $1,300. All right, what do we have left? We have $4,700 left. We need a bail spike for our front loader. Here's the cheapest one I could find, a Fleming bail spike. Okay. There is all of our equipment. I will get all of this over to our farm and I will see you there. All right, so this is the last of our equipment. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get busy. So, at 5 miles an hour and a 1.8 meter mower, this is going to take a while. So, I'll speed this up for you. Wow, so this is uh, taking quite a while. So one thing I can tell right away is the first piece of equipment that we are going to upgrade when we get the chance is this mower. This is uh, <laughs> excruciatingly slow. And I'm not lying, I spent probably three or four hours trying to figure out how to spend this minute the smallest amount of money and be able to get all the tools to reasonably make hay bales <laughs> and this is what I came up with I'm gonna try to get every little piece I didn't mention this before, but this field was only 50% fertilized at the beginning. So we're gonna get a okay yield, but not the maximum yield. And until we can afford a means to fertilize this field and also afford fertilizer, I think we're gonna have to just 
take what we can get. But pretty high on our list is going to be getting a fertilizer spreader. So that will increase our yield by another 50%. I'm going to call that good enough. Okay. Mission accomplished. On mowing. Next up is tedding. This is going to take a lot less time. We can go twice as fast and cover about three times as much ground. Now silage gets more money for you, but I could not afford a wrapper. So we will be in the hay business until we can afford a wrapper and then we will switch over to silage pretty quickly. Whoops, I lifted that a little too soon. I'll have to come back and fix that. I do like the sound of this John Deere tracker. Got a really nice engine sound. All right, good enough. Let's make some rows. And I'm gonna start out kind of wide. I think that's good enough. Let me just do, let me go do one more pass just to clean that up. And then we will go get the baler. Excellent. Okay. There's another tree I'm going to get rid of. Okay, what kind of controls do we have available to us? Do we have an auto drop? Uh, nope. <laughs> we don't. Not surprised. Alright. Let's get started. automatically unloads. 
Okay. Best animation, but at least it makes fails. So how many bales is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Looks like we're gonna have nine bales. And we have just that little bitty bit left. All right, nine bales, not bad. All right, and the very last thing is to pick up our bales. And then we'll take them to market. Uh, we're not going to be picky on price because we desperately need the money to improve the efficiency. Okay, this might be a little difficult to load the bales on this trailer with it removed. Because it's got a bit of a lean to it, but we'll see what we can do. Now, I want to be able to put two side by side. And then I think I could put six on the first layer. And then we'll put another three on top of that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. To get all nine on there.
That'll work. So I'm going to strap those in before we add the next layer. And there's our last three. almost don't have enough rear weight for these bales. Now, once I once I get a chance, I I will add some additional weight to the rear wheels of this tractor. I think that's going to help. You know what? That'll work. All right, let's strap these up. Let's see where we can sell these bales, get the most money. So, hey bales, there's only one place and that's the animal dealer. It's $90 a liter. And yeah, it is the absolute worst time to sell bales. Um, I think I'm going to wait until the next day. See if we can get a little better price. Well, folks, I think we will end things there. Thanks for coming along with me today. Next time, we will sell our bales and upgrade our equipment and uh, see what we can do. Thanks for coming along with me today. And until then, this is Scott Free For All. See you later.